Alrighty, so today I have the Z-Boost Soho YX545. This is a cell phone reception booster. You take the antenna included in the box and you put it in your window and then this acts like a mini cell phone tower for your home. So you get, you know, overall better reception in your house. So, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Nope. Oh, okay, so there's no ceiling things or anything on the box. It just flips right open. Looks like we got some mounting brackets, some really cheap coax cable, and we have the actual device itself. And let's see what else we got in here. It pops up. The AC adapter. The piece for the antenna to convert the cable. The actual whip antenna itself. Then the in your home antenna. Then we've got some sheets of paper and documentation. And I probably just hit the mic. But oh well, don't care. Let's see here. The YX545 Soho is up to 3,000 square feet. It's for a home and office. The next one is the YX545X Soho Extreme, which is up to 5,500 square feet and it's for a large home and office. So one thing to note when buying a signal booster is this particular model does, let's see here, if I can find it again, it does CDMA, GSM, GPRS, Edge, EVDO, 1X RTT, UMTS, HSPA, which is the one that I will be testing because I have straight talk and it's an AT&T tower, and it does 3G. These devices generally don't like to do 4G, is from what I've noticed, but I found that this one does HSPA, which is all I get, so it suits me fine. But if you have a 4G phone, iPhones, any later Android devices from Verizon or AT&T, then they prob these probably won't help you very much because they don't do 4G. Uh, I think if you take it in the phone and forcibly you make it use 3G, it might work, but I don't know because I have an HSPA phone. So other than that, I'm going to get these pieces together and we're going to see if this thing actually works. I'm going to start unwrapping things, throwing it around because who cares about plastic? Unless I need to ship it back if it doesn't work because that's why I'm going to test it first. Throw the antenna on the ground instead of the plastic. That's going to help a lot, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and pop the AC adapter open. Currently, my phone is sitting at negative 101 dBm, which is decibels. So, I'm getting about two bars sitting on this table. I'm not even going to use the mounting bracket. I'm just going to lay it there. Every 3 dBm is about twice the power or signal so every time you can less that number by three you pretty much double your power so that means you get better signal better data rates less dropped calls less nonsense like that you just it's way less have a hassle if you can get better signal currently uh it just moved up to 99 wonder if I put this just anywhere near it, if it'll act like a little thing. No, it actually gave me about half a bar. Oh, it went from HSPA to HSPA plus when I did that. No, it's just fluctuating. It's not actually doing anything. Okay. Eh, it was. It would have been funny if that would have been all it took. It's just a little put a little antenna by it. So let's see here. I'm going to take this end. Screw it on the only end it actually can go on. Make sure if you get one of these that the connections are really tight because these really are sensitive. Like if you have any experience doing TV coax and stuff, it's basically the same thing. I mean, it's the same type of antenna. I don't think it's got any super special specifications. They give you plenty of coax if you want to run it up onto your roof or something. I'm personally not going to do that because it's not going to stay in this house very long. It's going to actually go in my workplace so that I can get signal there better. And this is really annoying cable plastic. They've wrapped the entire spool in plastic, so you just have to peel all that off. 
before you can do anything with it unless you have your own coax I probably could find some if I wanted to but it's here and I'll try what they came with since most people probably don't want to have to go buy coax after buying the product uh, some people that I've actually looked up on did because this is really cheap coax but for the purpose it's doing which is just cell phone signal repeating it shouldn't be that big of a deal yeah so there's probably I think they say it's a 50 foot cable so if you want to run it up on top of your roof you probably really easily can I'm gonna try to keep it much together as I can so I ain't gotta worry about it uh, I guess I can go ahead and screw on the other ends I'm not going to get a wrench or anything, I'm just going to finger tighten it because it shouldn't need to have all that. I'm going to put my shirt on it though because it's actually got really sharp edges and it hurts. Okay. I'll spool it up later. Be sure if you're getting one of these that the center pin actually makes it in the hole for the center pin and you don't bend it because these are really sensitive to that as well. Okay, apparently this has a patent pending and stuff like that. Alright, I'm just going to run this straight over and plug it into the window. Not plug it into the window, I'm just going to slide it right up in the window and there it shall sit for now. If I can get it to stay reasonably. If not, then I'll get a box or something and put there to hold it in its place. That works for me. Alrighty. So it looks like a regular phone port thing charger with a proprietary, well, not proprietary, but it's just a little oval ending on it. And now I'm going to put my phone in front of the webcam so that you can see the signal changes of any that there might be so there it is currently it's at 103 dBm and I actually didn't have to turn autofocus on or off and do it myself so that's actually really helpful to me of course it's probably gonna try to focus on me in the background but hey if it does we'll work with it I'm sure everybody is interested as me to see if this thing actually does anything okay there's a little port here on the side of it but that's not where it goes it actually goes on the other side where the antenna cable goes so I just plugged it in it's got some blinking lights phone still at 97 DB I think the best I got was at 89 when I put it in the window so let's see here it's booting up it's flashing green and red Slowly alternating green and red. Z-Boost is working, but reduced performance and coverage due to non-ideal setup. Increase the distance between antenna and amplifier to achieve maximum performance and coverage. Okay, now it's solid green. Normal condition at power up. Well, that's not helping because it's not really looking like it's boosting my signals. Okay, it might have been fast alternating red and green. That could be an amplifier is disabled. But now it says it's on. And it's not looking too good. Oh, wow. The mounting bracket they gave is actually really nice. It's got some U-bolts and stuff so you can actually mount it onto your house. And new egg sent me updates. Um, well, I have no idea if I need to move it somewhere else or if I probably should run the cable outside real quick and just see. But not looking too good. I figured if my phone can pick up this, well, didn't help when the antenna's flying around. Well, here, I know what I can do. I'm on a wireless headset. I'll walk outside and set the antenna outside, see what happens. <laughs>
Well, if it would quit being caught up on the chair. Come on, Cable. You're coming with me. Like it or not. Uh, there's nothing really outside here to mount on easily. Not readily, at least. So I think we're just going to set it. Well, I could run it to the front of the house. See if that would help, because I'm in my backyard. Uh, I'm just going to lay it right here. And if it's working, in theory, well, I've got a little bit better signal, down to 95 from 101 average, looks like. So, I mean, oh well, it fell on the floor too. Ninety-seven. That's about where it was. Well, I say that it was at ninety-nine to a hundred and one. So, I think it's working a little bit. I'd have to probably play with it a little bit, and me probably standing here isn't helping it, since humans kind of absorb signal rates. I just got it kind of sitting up against my roof. It's not really mounted on anything. But it doesn't seem to be boosting it a lot. Let's see here, is there anything else I can readily do to fix it? Make it better. To maximize. To, uh, maximize. Maximize signal coverage. Place the signal antenna, which is the piece I went outside with, where you find the strongest signal up high or outside and at least two feet, two feet away from any metal. Well, that's kind of odd since this is a metal bracket they give you to mount it with. So that's contradictory. But anyway, it is sitting currently on a... Uh, well, it's on a metal light fixture. For the outside light so that shouldn't be hurting it but well we're at 91 so I think it's actually getting better than it was so what else can we do it's telling you how you want to mount it if you feel like it I might later but not right now the Z-Boost Soho requires at least 15 feet of vertical separation between the base unit and the signal antenna Really? What? Wow. Okay, so this wants you to put, if you have a two-story house, which I don't, it wants you to put the base unit in the basement and then the antenna on the second floor. Well, if you're in a two-story home, you'd want to put it in the second floor anyway, but it wants 15, sep 15 feet if 15 feet of separation is not possible, you may try our new Metro model, which was designed for lofts of urban dwellings and requires no vertical separation. Well, that's great. If I knew that, I would have gotten that model and not this model. I mean, I guess I could call their Z-Boost customer support card they gave me, but... Wow, it really wants 15 feet of clearance. Interesting. Okay, what else can we do, maybe? Possibly. Should you desire to improve your coverage, you may relocate the signal antenna in order to capture better signal. Higher is better, of course. Increase the distance between the base unit and antenna and the signal antenna. What? Base unit, antenna, and the... Oh, okay. Purchase an upgrade antenna available at y-ex.com. Okay. Well, I could move it across my room. Sure, let's do that. Now it's unplugged. Let's see if it drops instantly. 95. Oh, uh, my F Nexus 4, which you're looking at right now, is on 4.4 using the Cyanogen mod. 
well, there's 103, which it wasn't dipping before. So, I guess it works at least a little bit. But let's go ahead and move this across my room, since it does say that it would like to have a little bit more distance between them. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the in outside antenna, because that'd be bad. Alrighty. Plug it into the wall again. So we're at 101 currently. 99. See if it goes down under 97. It gets under 97, then I think I'd be happy with it. 93 87 there we go okay so moving it across the room did help now I'm at full signal bars that's the best signal I've gotten that was the best signal I got with my phone sitting by my window so yes this does work do those steps that I just did because I just learned it myself that is actually pretty cool so now I have full bars I mean it's gonna fluctuate probably a little bit but let's see we're at 91 Let's go and plug it again, see if it changes again. I can't read that from here, what does that say? Ooh, 89. 95 again, because I'm probably moving it in and out, but now it's unplugged. 97, 99, yep, there it goes, it just dropped down to two bars. So there you go, it works if you do those steps. Read the booklets, sometimes the booklets are helpful. Like I said in the previous videos I've done before, I hate documentation, but you only go to the documentation if you can't figure it out. So, what we're at currently? 97? I'm just going to play with it now. So, huh. See, that's kind of cool. I've seen some people, when I was looking up which ones of these I should buy, that tried to put it in one single room, and they would... Um, have it in one little bedroom or something and have it in the window and a couple feet next to it and they said yeah this doesn't work well I thought that it wouldn't work in two but you know I was having it here and putting it in the window and it wasn't working put some distance between them hey it's working so okay well we're at 99 let's see if we can't subtract that number by 10 that's actually really substantial for anybody that doesn't know anything about Wi-Fi radios or anything radio signals in general if you take that 99 and make it 89 like it was oh that's really substantial ninety three come on just a little bit more 89 there you go subtracted by 10 wow <laughs> that's really amazing if you think about it um, on Amazon, this model was currently around $180, 190 something like that. Um, these things retail for $400. So I don't know how far the antenna on the Soho, the Z-Boost Soho YX545, the inside antenna, I don't know how well that works because I'm limited to my room right now because I can't take the video elsewhere. So, uh... My guess is I could get that probably throughout my house. 85, wow. Okay, well that's probably just, you know, random. Anyway, uh, if you have a Wi-Fi router in your house, uh, it, it's pretty much the same antenna as one of those standard ones. So you could probably get a better uh, inside antenna if you have a little bit bigger house. I don't know how that would affect the performance at all, but... I'd put the the signal booster, the actual receiver box, in whatever main room that you would want to be in. So living room, dining room, kitchen, anything like that. For me, it'll probably be this room or up in the hallway. So that's proof that it works. So it just needs a good little bit of feet in them. Uh, it says it wants 15 feet of clearance, once again, from the booklet, but I don't have that at all. Like it's sitting, the receiver sitting on my couch, and it's sitting up at, you know, door height level. So it's not 15 feet, but it does work if you put some distance between them. I don't know why. I've never heard of distance being a factor when you factor in attempting to get these things to work. But hey, I'm not going to complain. It's working. Uh, speed tests will probably just show you any other speed test it's not gonna really affect it majorly I mean it would probably affect it 
since you have more signal. But other than that, it'd be just like you have five bars. If the status screen's saying that it has it, then there you go. Okay, well, when I sat down, it seems to have lost a bunch of its signal. Back at 99. I probably just need to move it so it's out of the way because the cable is going across my floor instead of like being routed up and around or something. But it does work. It is giving me better signals than I was getting by a long shot. Like inside my house, I'd probably get two bars where I'm standing. I'm currently at four. So. In my opinion, it is working. You can probably get bigger models and stuff, but it's up to you if you think the, the $180 current premium for it is worth it. I personally probably, well, I mean, I got it. If it fails me or doesn't continue to work, it will be going back. I'm gonna take this out because I'm not gonna open my door and leave it there all day. But anyway, oh, well, my antenna was loose too. So that's probably not helpful, but it does work. I've proved that it's worked. So it's up to you if you want to uh, buy one and try it out for yourself. Uh, Amazon actually is really good about returns and stuff. So if you just want to get it to try it, which is basically what I'm attempting to do, then go for it. So if you have really crappy cell phone signal and need better, this is a good place to start, at least in my opinion. Thanks for checking out this unboxing, overview, and uh, awkward setup of the Soho YX545 by ZBoost.